everyone is talking about the Winter Games. In Port Colborne, the city is celebrating its 19th annual Sports Fest, giving us all a great reason to get outside and enjoy some winter fun. And on that note, let the games begin! There is lots of events happening across the city that community groups and organizations have partnered with us on. So we have a snow pitch tournament that's going on today, volleyball tournament, um, outdoor snow golf um, and disc golf that they're doing out at Whiskey Run. There's outdoor ball hockey happening today from 11 to 2, which is free for the family to go out. We've partnered with Ball Hockey International. There's free activities at the YMCA. And tomorrow on Sunday, we have a free family skate as well as a soup cook off at Canal Side with the proceeds going to charity. Now you have a very busy day coming up yourself. What's keeping you busy this afternoon? Yes, I will be playing in the Mayor's Cup today. It's a tournament put on by our mayor, inviting all different municipalities and the regions to come out and play some friendly hockey with us. So there's four divisions. I'm in the D division with my colleagues for the city of Port Colburn, and I'm excited to be out there with them. I am the only female on the team and the only one in the division. And there's actually only three females playing in the entire um, tournament this weekend. Sarah, can you tell us about some of the events that the YMCA are hosting with Sports Fest? Yeah, so we have a lot going on here. Um, currently, we have the Welland Raiders lacrosse team setting up in the gym. So they're going to be hosting a learning skills, how to play lacrosse. And then later this afternoon, we have the family bounce and gym activities happening from 1 to 3. And then we have an open swim. So family, adults, children can come and swim from 1 to 4. Um, and then we have our regular season Port Colborne basketball teams coming in this afternoon to play their seasonal games. So what does it mean to the YMCA to be a part of Sports Fest? So the YMCA of Niagara, we really appreciate our partnership with the city of Port Colborne. They often have these big events that gives us lots of opportunity to bring people into our facilities and see what we have to offer at the Y. But it just encourages the healthy, active lifestyle for members and participants in whether um, it's skating, swimming, participating in the gym. It just encourages that healthy lifestyle and community feeling. So William, it seems like a beautiful day for a snow pitch tournament. Sure. <laughs> Can you tell us how many games are going on today? Uh, I think I have a total of 24 games with uh, 10 teams total and uh, roughly 114 participants uh, taking part. Um, the biggest snow pitch tournament I've ever seen in the area and ever heard of, to be honest with you. So it, uh, it's turned out to be a great success. The money is uh, that we're raising is all going towards Port Coburn Fire Prevention this year. And uh, it's in honor of the uh, Zuvik family that uh, passed away in the tragic house fire back in December 14th of uh, 2016. And I'm hoping that we can donate somewhere around three grand towards fire prevention in Port Coburn um, this year. Next year when we do this tournament, I'm hoping to get together with other fire prevention officers within the Niagara region and try to spread it region wide so that it's not just fire prevention in Port Coburn. It'd be nice to bring it elsewhere so that the tra tragedy doesn't happen in other cities in our community as well. Now, what's the goal of Sports Fest for the city of Port Colborne? The biggest goal is just to get everybody out. It's cold out, it's winter, everyone's been hibernating. So it's a great opportunity to get out, either enjoy the elements if you want to with their outdoor activities, or hang out inside and socialize um, and be with your family and friends, enjoying some activities and getting out of the house. Well, we really couldn't ask for better weather when it comes to getting outside to enjoy some winter fun. With more than 600 registered participants and many more people coming out to enjoy free activities and festivities, the annual Sports Fest has been another great success. In Port Coburn, I'm Katie Jones reporting for The Source.